Oh, hello. Welcome to another episode of uh, Precious Juggalos Live Painting and Chill. Forgot my own show. With me, Shovel, uh, the guy that paints the things and does all the other stuff. Um, so my plan for the day was to uh, work on this guy. I don't know if you remember the beautiful Juggalo Cherub that I painted before, sold to a wonderful, wonderful customer, uh, sent it to her just for it to be completely demolished and crushed in shipping. And uh, this one isn't an exact duplicate. As you can see, this one's reading a book. Uh, the other one was just being majestic. Um, so anyway, I was going to start working on this one today, but it, it needs to be cleaned, and I'm noticing now that it, it looks like it needs to be, like, uh, completely base-coated again, so I'm, I want to get it done for her as fast as I can, but I also want to do it well. So I think instead of juggaloing this today, I'm going to put it to the side so I can give it a good bath. And then, uh, and then give it a good base coat because uh, it's it's pretty pretty bad. It's uh, the the paint's actually coming off in my hands now. So pause on that. That kind of ruins the plan for today, but that's fine because uh, I still have a mountain of crap next to me. Um. Uh, no. So there's there's also this guy. This guy has his own set of problems. Boy, that color is something. Um, how about that? There he goes flying through the air, as a cherub does. Um, so this one, it's got a lot of nicks and uh, like just it's been knocked around. It's got some weird color loss on it. So, uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was not the gold one. This is the gold one. Um, but the gold one, I think, also needs a, a new base coat. Um, so so there's that. So he's kind of on the back burner, too, um, which is a bummer. But it's been, it's been pretty rainy around here, so I can't exactly paint these. Because it'll be... I'll be spraying them. I won't be brushing that on. Um, so that's on the back burner as well. What I could do is the, uh, the little dual cherub faces. This one. What is up with this? It looks like trash right now. Um. Let's see if I can't fix that. That's terrible. There's that. That's what I get for experimenting with things. Um, so yeah, I'll be, uh, I think I'll be working on this. Although, why does that still, it looks like ethereal. Do you see that? Like, it's kind of like got a hazy shimmer around it. It's weird. Um, anyway, whoop whoop. <laughs> it must be Monday, because I'm starting off way off track already. Um, so let's, uh, let's get back to the basics here flavor of the day would be bago cotton candy because i now have like i don't know, I, I have like uh, 16 cans of this stuff now so uh, i'll be drinking it for a while um so let's do that so let me switch over so you can watch the pour also i i found i had a really fancy lens um that's been missing for a while. It's a cinematic lens uh, that I dug out. What's up, Maya? Um, my wife found it in a camera bag that was stuck in a closet that hadn't been cleaned in a while. Um, so we're trying out the cinematic lens. It is uh, it's a lot wider. Uh, it's a lot of... I don't know. It's fancier. Definitely fancier. I never... I didn't buy it with the intention of using it for a setup like this, but... Uh, Frankly, it shows more desktop, and it kind of looks cleaner, in my opinion. Um, let me look at it like this. Yeah, that, that just generally looks better. It's not framed very well right now, but... 
I, I literally just threw it on before I uh, hit go live. So we're not really doing any actual work to make it look good. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. So anyway, there's that. Switch over. Bottoms up. Ooh. <laughs> I wasn't prepared. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh, that's... That's tasty. Tasty, a little sweeter than I was ready for. Um, also, I dribbled a little. As us older gentlemen tend to do, I did dribble a little. So let me just clean that up. <clears throat> oh, man. I was actually hoping to do a... Uh... Whoa. Oh, yeah, I just nudged the camera, didn't I? That's, uh... Oh, well, whatever. Yeah, I gotta shake it. Not the can. Not the can. That's not a, what he's referring to. Yeah, look at that. You... And that's... That's without the uh, mount being at its highest setting that I used to do when I painted the, the big cherub head. Um... This is actually set pretty low. This, yeah, this lens is pretty dope. Pretty, pretty dope. Which is weird. It shoots so much wider, but it's still the, the same aspect ratio. I don't understand it. <clears throat> yeah, it is a whole new world, JR. A whole new world cinematic pleasures as long as it just looks better I think it does look cleaner um, than the stock Canon lens that I was using um, it is bothering me that it's a little askew there straight lines Ugh, OCD yeah it doesn't feel like a scary dungeon <laughs> Ah, uh, if only I panned a little bit to the left or right. Actually, probably not to the that direction, because that's just a wall. A wall full of decorative crap for my own pleasures. Um, but this direction, on the other hand, is an absolute nightmare of... Uh, um, I mean, it kind of looks like... Uh, kind of looks like... Um, there's a mental illness in the house, maybe. Probably. A little like hoarders. Um, but it's it's organized chaos. It's uh yeah. Cinematic pleasures. It it does because it sounds it sounds uh professional. Um so yeah, you put that on a label and ship it out, nobody's gonna go, oh that's dirty. But there's pleasures in there, so, oh, so, uh, so yeah, it, mm, that's not a bad name, actually. I want royalties. 10% of all, I won't say gross, I'll be nice, net profits, 10% of your net profits from using that name. Deal? <laughs> okay, anyway, man, that shows a lot of desk. Which makes this tiny little thing look a little tiny. Hmm. Hmm. And you know what? I don't... I don't think I can zoom with this... thing. I forget how to use this lens. I haven't touched it in, uh... Yeah, that's... that's just focus. Ooh. This is the ISO. So that's cool. But yeah, I don't remember how to zoom it. Which makes me feel kind of dumb. 
What else, bruh? <laughs> Rather have that money. <laughs> It's only so much of that collection that a that a guy needs. All right. Down to business. Painting art and stuff. Oh, uh, let's see. On these little faces, we're going to go with this brush. Just make sure it's clean here before I get going. Looks pretty clean. I'll do this off camera so it's not blowing into the microphone. There we go. Hit it with a little duster. All right. I believe these are ready to paint. After. I do the thing I always forget to do, and that's taking pictures. So I have before and after. So I always forget that, and then I feel like an idiot. Also, I kind of feel like an idiot pretty often, because I do pretty dumb things. Shot like that so you can see the flower in their hands. There we go. I took my before pictures. Maybe I should do a little before, a very brief before video. Whoa, that zoomed in. Like that. Or like that. Okay, all the things, all the things. Content creating. So good at it. <clears throat> all right, white paint. Here we go. I am mildly nervous as to how well this will take paint because it is it does have kind of a semi-gloss finish to it. A little, a little bit. But we should be okay. Should be. Should be. And JR, I started the show with the lighting the way you like it. Because it's all about JR. <laughs> I didn't do green, I did purple. <laughs> Lately, it's true, yeah. You and Maya. It's weird because I, I don't know, I keep getting more and more Facebook followers. And I post over there. I try not to do it every day because, uh, I don't know, it just gets spammy. But, uh, but yeah, I can't seem to draw those followers over here. So they're not following me very well. Not living up to the terms of the follower denomination. Or designation, I guess. Probably a better term. Denomination makes it sound like I have my own cult.
So I know, Maya, you saw the, uh, the video of, uh, all my pieces laid out on a table, which there was actually more. I didn't, couldn't fit everything on one table. Um, but it was just a little, it wasn't a lot. But, uh, a lot of that stuff's been stored in a tote, and I kind of forgot how much I had of Juggalo backstock. There's a ton. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I I kind of was myself, which sounds I don't know, probably doesn't sound good that I but it was more uh maybe not impressed. Uh I mean, yeah, impressed. It to see how much I've painted and that, you know, that doesn't include the things that I've sold. Um I didn't realize I'd produced so much. Even though as I look at each and every piece, it's like, oh yeah, I remember that. It's not like I forgot they exist. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would. <laughs> Maya would absolutely understand. Just, it's weird to see it all in one place. It also takes a minute just to set that table up because there's so much of it. So hopefully when I come home from that event this weekend, my crate is a lot less full. Speaking of molds, that's something else I need to work on. Um, oh, they were. Here they are. You remember my Beethovens? When I... I made a mold and uh, cranked out a bunch of these. I need to I need to paint these. <laughs> uh, I haven't painted them because I want to like uh, the bases are all like because this is where I pour from. So the bases are all like inconsistent. So I want to sand them down. But I know that's going to be a, a nasty mess. Um, but I... If I do them all at the same time, I mean, there's only four right here, but if I did all four at the same time, it should, like, you know, go pretty quick. And I think they would sell pretty well. There's a lot of trial and error in pouring those. And uh, I know I know I got a uh, like a system worked out, but now it's going to be where it's so much time is going to pass. I'm going to forget ratios and uh, methodologies. But whatever, that's all part of the fun, I guess. Man, their hands are filthy. Did I leave, leave the lips exposed? I think so. Right? They don't paint theirs. Yeah, they don't paint theirs.
All right. Oh, we had a, uh, we had a creep creep through, apparently. I guess I, I should be more, more entertaining, more animated. I mean, really, by the description, I don't know what people are expecting. Yeah, right. Like, it literally says, painting and chill. <laughs> that is what we are doing. No mysteries here. Hey, click on that one that says, uh, Precious Juggalo's live painting and chill. Let's see what he's doing. What's he doing? It looks like he's painting and chilling. Boring. Click on another one. Oh, there's a big dry chunk. Gross. Get that out of there. <laughs> rubble, rubble, rubble. I mean, when you think about it, Bob Ross, he didn't he didn't do much more. Like uh there'd be a little like intro like I do where he just uh introduces himself, explains what's going to happen, kind of shows what's going to happen. What were my streams before you two were here? Uh I don't know, like this, but uh less interactive maybe. I don't know th at the very beginning, there were a lot of other people that would, like, come in. Um, you know, and not just, like, Wiggles, but there there was... Uh, King Capybara came a lot more. Um, like, he came around before... before you, you did, JR. Um, there was a... Uh, Zombie Nips was another one back in the day. Um... That was cool to talk to. And it would be like just zombie nips. Yeah, still nothing from Jimmy either, which is weird, man. Like, I don't know. But that's the internet. It's just real enough to not be real at all. But, whatever. Like I was telling a friend of mine this weekend, doing these streams help, helps keep me, like, disciplined so I keep painting. 
If I didn't do the streams, then I would come home from work and be like, ah, I don't want to paint today. And then I would never get anything done. So at least doing the stream kind of forces my hand a little bit. Gets me out of my laziness. Um, and then I get to chat with you guys. One of the happy consequences. Okay, how do I get my brush in there? You know what? We're going to go ahead and call that a That's What She Said. I don't know if I'd want to be sticking a brush anywhere around there, but, uh, you know. The general idea of how am I going to get that in there? I'll lay it on a little thicker in this weird nook. I don't think uh, I don't think I'll be able to easily access it. A lot of that's what she said's happening right now in this uh, little brief exchange. Okay, there is our first coat of white on both faces. They go break. I still need to create that gif. I'm really hoping uh, after the event this weekend that I sell enough uh, juggalos to get a stream deck. So then because this mouse is with my right hand and uh I have to stop what I'm doing to do the mouse, and now with this lens, it shows the mouse, and I don't like that. So I want my left hand over here where you can't see it, and I can just hit hotkeys. <laughs> Are you sick, Maya? That's too bad. Oh. They took her jibs! Oh, I just noticed. I think this wing is chipped. But it's a really old chip, so, uh. The color blends. Good grief! Will y'all stay away from me? I don't. I don't need any of that. <clears throat> Down with the sickness. Stuff. I mean, I've had these allergy stuff. I I mean, I, yeah, I'm I'm not it's nothing like y'all have been dealing with. Uh I've just been headaches and I don't know. Headaches, uh nasal pain. Not being very smart lately, whatever disease does all that, which sounds kind of covidy. COVID-ish. Uh, so yeah, maybe I have a weird lame COVID strain. I don't know. Man, that lens does look cool, though. Just looking at the screen there. That looks pretty. Yeah. That looks real nice. Real nice, Clark. Oh, I need to talk about myself? Uh... Um, uh, <clears throat> um, so that's what you're here for is for the stories. Oh, stop putting myself down. Oh, better start talking better about yourself. Oh, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's not what I read. <laughs> Yeah, I was sitting here thinking, better start, I better start talking about myself. But I've been doing this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, gee, many. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like, uh, saying I'm dumb. I'm, well, I guess I did say I'm dumb. Uh, <laughs> but I've had like a mind fog thing as of late that, uh, has been kind of sucky. Okay. Coat number two of white. That's where we are at now. Bruh. That's what I said. JR, did you watch that episode of Kill Tony yet? With uh, Violent J, Tom Green. And I mean like the full episode, not just the, uh, the J part. Excuse me. Hmm. Foot number two is not sticking very well. Maybe I didn't let it dry long enough. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I used to I used to follow wrestling a lot closer. Um like as a kid back in the 80s and early mid 90s. Then I tried to start watching it again uh like with my kids. So we did we did for for about a year, I would say, and then COVID hit and kind of screwed all screwed all that up. Um, and then we just kind of fell off the wagon. And it's kind of you know the way the way things go. The wrestling is pretty like episodic, um, and it's not it's not like you have to see every episode to know what's happening. Um, because they you know they do a fairly good job of like explaining or showing throwbacks or whatever but it's still it's not quite the same like if if you're not checking in pretty regularly you can you can miss some things and be like wait who has the belt now yeah that's kind of a thing too um yeah another reason why we stopped watching because we we were we were watching w, WWE um the family and I and yeah it's there's just it's just dirty in all kinds of ways hey Wiggles. See your name. Oh yeah, we were talking about being sick. Not me being sick, but uh JR and Maya being sick and you being sick. And how I don't want to be sick. <laughs> Oh, you made it to work? That's good. So you're... You're not getting any more negative points, but... 
feel like crap, so... I don't know. Hopefully it works out. <laughs> Wiggles is not interested in that kind of longevity. I don't blame him for that. There we go. My basketball coach back in the day made us watch Hoosiers. Does that help? <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of where I am with it, too. Like, I, I know I watched the movie, and I know Gene Gene Hackman's in it, right? He's the coach. Um, And I remember him getting ticked off with his, the team every now and again. Um, That's about all I remember. And they were really good at basketball. I remember that. Oh, I need to do a jig? I'll take a Fago break. Wait. Which face was I on? I was painting this one. Right? Yeah, because it's wet. Dude! Well, that makes me feel better about drinking two Mountain Dews a day. <laughs> I was just telling myself today that I probably need to 
cut back. Well, it's not just that. I'll go to the gas station. I'll get a large Mountain Dew, too. <clears throat> but I'll start my day with a can of Mountain Dew, and then I'll take a can with me to work to have during lunch. And I was just thinking, man, I should probably cut back on soda. I'm really getting uh, a little deep into the woods. Then I read uh, Wiggles and his monster addiction. Good grief, son. That's too much. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lot. Plus, that's expensive. You could uh you could save quite a bit of money just uh cutting it back to one monster a day. All right, two coats of white. 5 11 p.m. <laughs> Wiggles has the fat fingers going. So there was one night, speaking of powders, um, there was, I don't know why, where it came from, how it got there, but uh, in the jail, somebody, somehow a bag of uh, powdered caffeine showed up, like pure caffeine powder form I, I don't I don't know like it makes sense that that's a thing like in terms of as an ingredient or whatever but how somebody procured a bag of it was weird um yeah I don't think it came in a prison wallet it was like it, it was a big bag like it was like a oh like a like a like a two-gallon Ziploc size. It's pretty big. Um, and it was, like, factory-sealed um, in its original container. It looked like something out of a lab. <laughs> yeah, prison duffel. Yeah. Anyway, so... Well, close. Uh, as things go with a bunch of young officers late at night trying to stay awake and try to entertain themselves in an otherwise not fun job, they started, like, adding tablespoons of pure caffeine into their, their coffees and their monster drinks and making them dangerously caffeinated. Um... Dangerously is actually a good way of putting it, because um, they started getting real weird on that shift, and then a couple of them actually ended up going to the hospital. I declined um, sampling any of the caffeine. But yeah, they that shift got in some big trouble uh, a couple days later when the warden found out what was going on. It was it was weird. It was real weird. So yeah, be careful with caffeine, for sure. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Sounds like my dog did something she wasn't supposed to. And my wife is not pleased. Alright, time for the watered down final coat. Yeah, that's true. Talking with me or with Wiggles? Because I had the same thought with my headache today. Um.
Yeah, I I am trying to cut it back. I was drinking too much. So instead of Mountain Dew, I got tea. So still, still got that hit of caffeine, not quite as much. And I did a half, uh, half regular tea, half sweet tea. I got a little bit of sugar too. But it still isn't Mountain Dew. <laughs> but it was good. But that's probably why drinking this, uh, Cotton candy is making me go, because uh, I didn't quite have as many sweets today. A uh, dog I have is a Dutch Shepherd named Sunny. Um, she's a rescue. She was abused. Uh, she's a real sweetheart. And a Dutch Shepherd is like a German Shepherd. Just a slightly smaller scale and brindle for its coat. She's a beautiful dog. Very smart, very protective. Uh, fun fact, actually, the Dutch Shepherd, um, the reason why you don't see too many of them is another bad thing that Hitler did uh, in World War II is he thought the German Shepherd was the better dog. So he had the Dutch Shepherd exterminated um, almost into obliviation, um, almost eliminated the breed completely because uh, it wasn't the pure German dog. So screw that butthole because uh, Dutch Shepherds, I can tell you, are very cool dogs. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> JR's trying to get your uh trying to get into gathering shape, huh? Gotta walk around with that shirt off all day. Sun's out, guns out. <laughs> I just read what you wrote, Wiggles. That's crazy. Cause yeah, if you're uh, if you're locked up and you're not getting access to that kind of stuff, um, it can definitely get you a little little loose, a little wild. Hitler almost killed you? Specifically, JR? Or you're saying your people? Ugh. Oh, <laughs> when I said screw that butthole, <laughs> it's the uh, it's the hardest, cleanest thing I think I could say.
<laughs> yeah, dude, that's uh that's Billy Madison. Classic. Why does that look weird? Hang on, let me let me get in close here. Oh, that's why it looks weird. Because it is weird. I didn't say mud, I said crud. Five twenty one. All right, well, I think that's where we're going to leave it today. Getting the white done, ready for black tomorrow. I'll give. Give this guy a bath. Give this guy a bath and then uh, maybe tomorrow it'll tomorrow will dry out so I can give it a good white base coat, a little primer. Get him ready to paint. So I can send him off to a very patient customer. Yeah, spinny, spinny room feeling is not a good feeling, 100%. Turkey Run State Park, where's that at? <clears throat> I have not heard of it. <laughs> Pay for the spinny room. Yeah, they do. Those people are called crackheads, children. Let's see if I can. There's just a spot there that just doesn't want to take paint. Still doesn't. There we go. So anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> yeah. Ah, Frank is so good. So did you thunder gun him? I like how that became a verb. There's a spider, spider, spider. All right, let's switch to that guy. Oh, funky. Why is it doing that again? It's all weird and pixelated and... Hmm. Whatever. I think it's just the camera. This guy. That guy doesn't like what I do down here. Ah! Yeah, and there it is on my head. Yep, there it goes. Weird. Alright, it is almost 5.30. I'm not painting right now. I am looking at my cameras and being an idiot. So it's probably a good time to go ahead and call it a day. <laughs> um, so 
Shout outs, of course, to JR, Maya, and Wiggles. Thank you guys for hanging out. To the one creep weirdo that strolled through, uh, hang around next time, because you were in and out in a flash. You didn't get to see nothing. You have no idea what happens here. Give it a chance, man. Ah, but if you have that kind of attention span, maybe you should just stick to shorts. I don't know. Maybe you shouldn't go to live streams. Anywho, I appreciate you guys. I'll be back again tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. 4.30 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. You can also find me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Reddit, on Discord. Um, surprisingly, out of everything that was chatted about today, the link never got dropped. Wiggles, even you, man. Even you. Uh, anyway, there's a Juggalo Discord server that all of us are part of. If you're interested in hanging out with uh, with weirdos like us, um, go ahead and go to that Discord server. Also, check out my shop. Um, if you like... I don't have any examples down here. Oh, yeah, because I packed up my tub to get ready for that show. If you like uh, grandma decorations painted with juggalo faces, I'm your man. That's what I do. I paint juggalo faces on weird little pieces of ceramic or plastic or uh, plaster. All kinds of weird things. And I turn them into juggalos. So you can put them on your shelf and go, <laughs> look at that thing. Uh, so check out my shop at that link. I've got a lot of different pieces for sale. They're all currently packed up in a tub ready for a show. So it would really suck if you bought one right now. Um, but I would still find it, pack it, and send it to you. Uh, and UPS will probably break it. Um, that's just how things work right now. Um... But yeah, there's that link to the Discord server I brought up if you're interested in that. Otherwise, I am ready to call it a day, and uh, sounds like dinner's ready and I'm hungry. So I'm going to go eat it. Hmm. Hmm. You know, uh, we're going to go ahead and go over here and go ahead and do one last That's What She Said. Um, has that happened? Um, so yeah, there's that. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Love you guys. Uh, no words of wisdom today. Just, uh, get some rest, everybody. Let's stop being sick. Yeah, words of wisdom. Get some rest. Hydrate and rest. Those are the keys to survival in this crap world. Yeah. All right. That's it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.